Shalom Yashraal and welcome to Believer's Testimony number 8. I want to start this installment of Believer's Testimony with a scripture found in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 19. James, whose proper name is Yaakov, says these words, Therefore, brethren, let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Now, I want you to imagine something. Imagine if the majority of the world followed these simple words. How much different would this world be? Sadly, the reality is in this world of ours, the reverse is true. People are slow to listen, quick to speak, and quick to anger. But I was blessed this past week when I got to listen to the words of a fellow Hebrew by the name of Zadok ben Israel. Now I've had the pleasure of listening to Brother Zadok give teachings and debates on the platform debate few years. And this past week he appeared on Debate Talk for you during a preliminary debate special in which he shared a little bit of his testimony. And this small portion of his testimony was such a blessing for me. I know it will be for you as well. Now, I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with Brother Zadok, but I can say I have been blessed by his teaching and debates. Do I agree with everything that the brother teaches and says? No. But I will say this about Brother Zadok. He is a skilled debater, very well spoken. And he shows a lot of respect to those he is debating and dialoguing with. And from that alone, we can learn a lot. Brother Zadok is going to have a dialogue on December the 12th with a Christian radio host named Vocab Malone. Now, some of you may be familiar with that name as well. Vocab has unleashed a lot of criticism on the Hebrew Israelite community and the doctrine of the Hebrew Israelites and he's especially zoned in on the One West camps as a result a lot of people in the Hebrew community are not too pleased with Vocab Malone but Brother Zadok has expressed a willingness to engage Vocab in an open dialogue to discuss similarities and differences between Hebrew Israelites and Christians and personally I think this is wonderful A lot more can be accomplished in a dialogue than in debate, which is why I started out with that verse in James chapter 119, because as believers, we need to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Because when we do this, we'll be able to hear the other person's point of view and gain greater understanding, and in turn, we'll be able to respond to people rather than just react. We as believers need to be careful that as ambassadors for Yahuwah's kingdom, we should be drawing people into his kingdom, not pushing them away. And I believe Brother Zadok touches on that as well in this short testimony session. So without further delay, I'll play this short testimony from Brother Zadok ben Israel. Yah bless. I just want everyone out here to think for a minute. Um, I, I appreciate what Brother Vocab said about his opinion of me. Everyone may not have that opinion of me, and that's fine. I'm not here first to make friends. I am here first to represent what I have found in the Scripture and why I am choosing as a man to walk this path that I'm walking why amongst my own children, uh, uh, amongst my own family members, my own friends and people who've known me all my life, I choose to hold this stance. I'm not from a city where, like in some other cities, people may have all these different factions and groups all over the city. Uh, I'm from a place where when I grew up, my grandma was a Jehovah's Witness and my grandfather, her husband, was a NOI, FOI Muslim, okay? They loved each other. I don't know how they didn't follow the same path, but I've seen that. And as a young man, I heard many discussions between my Jehovah Witness grandmother and my FOI. I'll never forget, I was about eight years old, and my grandfather said, Hey, boy, who the most powerful black man in the world? I don't don't know. I was like, I'm thinking of some singer or some athlete or something. He said, Louis Farrakhan. Man, I don't even know who, I'm like, Farrak- what is that? What's a Farrakhan? Never heard of it. My, grand- I, I, my grandfather introduced me to that stuff when I was eight. My grandmother used to take me to uh, Bible studies with her um, when I was young. 
what I'm saying is I've heard people talk about opposing views all of my life, and when I couldn't say nothing, I had to sit there and listen. And what I didn't like was when people who supposed to love each other would get so heated, I got the vibe that they hated one another, that the, the, the discussion got so heated that they hated one another. You understand what I'm saying? I, 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 I come from a place where, you know, I'm not proud of everything I did in my life in them streets, man, but I come from a place, man, where a brother killed his own brother over a dice game, man. So at the end of the day, what I'm talking about flesh and blood, brothers, King. So at the end of the day, I've always been someone who has said, yo, there has to be a better way for us to handle our differences. When you see a husband and a wife go at it, you have husbands and wives during this election, Hillary, uh, the, the, the husband for Hillary, the wife for Trump, and they mad at each other about their politics. What I'm saying is this. I don't have to accept the next man's reality and truth as my own, but I am out to understand the next person. Why? Because in me following Christ, there are many of my own flesh and blood people. For some of these dudes who hold the stances they hold, and women, but they mamas don't follow the same thing they follow. Do they diss their mamas the way that they diss the next person who they disagree with? For them cats who don't celebrate holidays no more, but your mama and your daddy and, 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 and your uncles and, them, and, and your favorite cousins who you was like brothers with growing up, and you keep yourself from them, from them things when the family get together, do you hate them? And when you explain to them why you serve the Most High how you do and how you hope they would see the light, do you talk to them with the same vitriol you talk to the next person who you totally don't know? See, most of our fights in life are with people who we love. So if you deal with the man you don't know from a can of paint, the way you deal with the people you love, you might get somewhere. But if you hate the people who you claim to love, then I can see how you treat the stranger. Because I always tell women, a man who will smack his mama or his sister, I, you better be careful if you're going to deal with that boy. That's all I can tell you. If the man, if the man known to have smacked his own mama or his own sister, that's that. But if he got the utmost care and he's very careful with how he replied to his mama and his sisters when he's angry even, then you may have a man that when he's with you, even when you make him angry, he may be very careful because of his natural respect for women. I just think that some of these people out here are not dealing in love. Love. I have love for man, and I believe that the nation of Israel was chosen to be a template for all nations to follow when they do righteousness, but also for all nations to understand the wrath of God when men turn against God. Real talk. And so I'm here to deal with a man who I'm convinced is after God. Point blank, period, just as I have dealt with other people on your show, Sal. And no, I will say this for the record, and God will, and I'll say it again at night, and it's the last thing. I am not here representing the views of all people who go by the term of Hebrew Israelite, but I am here to simply show that as a man who identifies with that as a, as a nationality marker, but my religion, if you will, is Nazarene and or what people call Christian, Messianic, whatever you prefer to call it. I want to deal with the honesty of what I found in the scripture and why I walk the path I walk. That's all. So if a man across from me don't agree with me, at least he'll understand why I hold the stance I hold. I'm, whether he agrees with it or not is, isn't going to make me uh, 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 stop what I'm doing. So I just need him to understand why I've made the decisions I made and why I see it. And I want to give him that same thing. Vocab seems to want that more and more. So prayerfully, this would be the first of many discussions uh, that are just helping us find out the truth of this scripture so that we can understand more and more where the other side is coming from. I just want God to be glorified. And the less of me and the more of him in the equation, the better. Um, thanks.